Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today we are doing another revisit, a revisit of one, po one product in particular that I'm looking at. Um, I did this line back in, I'm trying to remember, I think it was maybe 2021. It was the Main Choice Cheers line. And I think they're actually getting rid of that line if they haven't already. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're getting rid of that line. But I still have the products. And so while a few things I remember kind of working, I wasn't overall impressed with the line. But we are really going to be looking at this Cheers Gelato. This was probably the product I was least satisfied with. So we are going to pair this with another main choice product. And I will say I have done this product combo before a couple times. I've always liked my results. I don't remember what the weather conditions were when I did it but um, we're having pretty mild conditions today, so hopefully this will turn out. I'm just going to make sure, I'm just gonna make sure my hair is pretty wet here. I've said before, I really like to style on very wet hair, especially when I'm brush styling. Okay, I bet you're wondering what the other product is I'm going to pair it with, and it is the Ancient Egyptian Leave-In Lotion. So these two are going together, and Hopefully I get a good combo. Like I said, I've done this before and it's worked out for me. So if it doesn't work out today, I'm still not writing it off as, a, as not working because I've got more success with it than I have not. So I'm going with about that much of the lotion on each side. I am going to also do a new brush styling method for me, for myself. So usually I just leave my hair kind of split into two sections and brush style turning like the curls in towards my face because that seems to be my natural curl pattern. But this time I am going to, I've experimented with different brush styling techniques. I do kind of like the flip section styling, but that's not always easy to do on camera here. Okay, first of all, I'm just brushing this product, the lotion through. But I saw this brush styling technique by Amanda um, Mel's sister. And so I've, I think they've done it before. I've seen other people kind of do this before, but she had something, a trick that she did specifically that might help me with my, my problem. Okay, I'm rambling. It's not making any sense to you, but you will probably see what my problem is as I as I go. Okay, my sections are gonna be real, real rough. And maybe that's part of my problem too. Maybe the fact that I don't have like nice smooth sections a lot of times. Bear with me as I try to get this a little bit better. And I just gave myself a knot in doing that. Good job, Jody. Okay, that came out pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to clip this up here. And this is gonna be a problem here, these little pieces. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to try to do is kind of brush style as I have done in the past before, just with this section done up and we'll do this differently. So I'm gonna speed through this part. This isn't really gonna be all that different for me.
part where things change a little bit. I'm going to try to do this herringbone technique that they do. I don't know how well I'll be at it because like I said, I'm not good at like keeping good parts, but I saw Amanda clip her hair and this seemed like it might be a game changer for me because my hair, the trouble I always have is my hair does not like to stay, um, like I'm always grabbing sections that I'm not intending to grab, sections that I've already styled or sections that haven't been styled but are too large. My hair just kind of tries to, the brush snags areas that I don't want to snag. Sorry, I'm reaching for my brush here. And so, will this work? I don't know. I don't know at all. And I'm just going to use my pinky and try to get a smaller section. Another thing that's really been making me want to do this because while I like the way my curls look when I curl it in towards, towards my head, towards my face, because that's how my curl pattern seems to like to go, it also sometimes gives, it also hangs in my face a lot more, I feel like. And it also sometimes seems to give, um, what, what am I trying to say here? I lost my thought. It, oh, it also seems to give like a funny crimp sometimes in the front. I recently had that. And so I'm seeing if this might be a better alternative. I don't know if I'm supposed to scrunch this now or later. I don't know. These girls make it look so easy when they do this stuff. Sorry, by the way, too, that I'm not looking at the camera really at all while I'm doing this. I am focusing. All right, I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this. see how this works if you saw the last section I don't know how well you could tell um, with me fast forwarding through it but the last little part I was trying to do kept snagging in with previous parts that I had brush styled so we'll, we'll see how this looks in the end oops there goes a clippy I'll just toss the other one down there too all right now I'm just gonna kind of shake my head a little bit and let it try to fall where it wants to fall kind of a little bit more halfway simply because that's how I'm best able to apply my product. I like to do it halfway this way. If I try to do it going around my head like this and in layers, I tend to get too much product. Could I practice with that more? Absolutely, but this is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just dipping my finger in this extremely messy gel. So I've got a finger full here. And this is a fairly sticky gel, so I'm hoping it doesn't pull out the curls that I've clumped together. I feel like I need to get, I need to get my hands wet because it's sticking. Okay, that has helped. All right, doing the same thing, I'm going in with another finger full, plus I got some water in my hands, so that does help distribute it better. And then I'm going to flip upside down and do the same thing as well. Okay, so I have my wet plop on as well. I'm gonna leave this in for like 10, 15 minutes. And I was also thinking while I was scrunching in the gel, I was trying to remember what all I didn't like about this initially when I first filmed my first review using it. And one thing is definitely like the consistency and the smell isn't my favorite either. It does smell like beer, which it's not the worst parts of the beer, but I just don't like the scent. But this consistency is very liquidy. I can't really tip it to show you, but it's got like this snotty like 
I don't even know how to describe it, but you could see. See what I mean? Okay. And that's also really extremely, extremely sticky. I can't, I can't talk. But um, I have some other gels that kind of, gels or custards that kind of remind me of this in a way, but not the same level of the, like the stickiness to it. So I had to apply a lot of water to my hands. I could have probably applied more to my hair and it would have had a similar effect by then, but I have to apply a lot of water to my hands to make sure that the product is, is not like my hands aren't pulling the curl out and just frizzing it up when applying. So application is not fun, but I know a lot of people really like this gel. And so I struggled with it when using it. Like I said, I'm, it's been a while since I've done that video, the initial video. And I don't remember everything, but I do feel like I remember my hair just like it frizzed up and felt kind of gunky. I don't feel like I had the right product underneath. If I remember correctly, I just went in with this gel and the polish because that's what the what the line had. And I was doing like a one brand wash day. But as I've said before, I've paired these two products together that we're doing today. I've paired them together before and I've not gotten, obviously I've not gotten those results because I've liked my results before using these two. And so I'm hoping I'm gonna get that, but I will be back after I've diffused and we'll see what, what we have. <laughs> All right, co-friends, I am back with my hair fully diffused and let's get into what this is looking like and my thoughts on it. So I will say as I was applying this um, gel, I considered that I might be putting too much on and looking at my curls, I think, I think I did. They're just, this is just a little bit more stringy then I like, it, it doesn't look bad, it really doesn't, but I know what this has given me before and it's usually a more, kind of a fluffy wash and go. These products don't leave a cast on my hair when I style them and diffuse, but this isn't really giving me like the fluffier look. But I do feel like I have good definition, I or decent definition. Have I had better, yeah but it's not bad. It's just, I think I applied too much product. I think that was where I went wrong. So overall, I still like this combo. I can still make this work and it helps me use up a product. Um, let me get you a tour of the back of my hair. So we'll do that. And then my thoughts on this brush styling, different technique did it do anything different for me did it help did it improve how the hair lays i don't really think so and it was more work so i don't know maybe i'll play around with it some more see it's maybe not falling in my eyes quite as much and didn't give me the funny crimp like i said maybe i'll play around with it more um don't be surprised if i don't because i'm a creature of habit and i do like to fall back onto what i'm comfortable what i'm familiar with a lot of times but yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like restyling with this Main Choice Cheers Gelato. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have, maybe I should ask you guys, if there's one of my videos that you've seen that I've not really cared for how the product works and I haven't revisited that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and then until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.